Hi everybody, Nick here, and I got a review for you today of your Spyderco Sage 2. And your Sage 2 is a very nice little knife. It's in the Sage line, uh, which is designed to show off different locking mechanisms from uh, around the world, so to speak. And this one shows off the Reeve Integral Lock. And the Sage 2 specifically is often talked about as being one of Spyderco's very best EDC options. And so on paper, it looks like a great knife for me. And I was really excited to get my hands on one. Uh, one note, I got this guy used, and this is not a factory edge. The previous person had put an edge on it that wasn't great, and uh, so this is a Nick Shabazz edge rather than a Spyderco edge. Don't blame them. So, the good, spec-wise, right solid. It's solid freaking titanium and S30V steel. S30 is a great steel, no doubt. Good edge retention, a little hard to sharpen, but, you know, whatever. No complaints there. Blade length is good. Um, the blade itself is in the 2-inch, well, 2.5-ish, I think, range, and the overall length is around 3 inches. And so I applaud Spyderco for continuing to make high-quality small knives in a lot of different styles. That's nice. Thank you, Spyderco. Um, the knife is very solid with good fit and finish. It's a Taichung Spyderco, which usually means great fit and finish, and it means that here too. Um, it's a smooth knife. It's on washers. And I imagine it'll smooth out even more, but even as is, it's pretty smooth. It's not quite sleesh buoy smooth, that's for damn sure, and it's certainly not Norseman smooth, but it's pretty smooth. No complaints there. And in fact, my only fit and finish uh, nitpick is that the edges around the spidey hole and on the top here are pretty sharp. Spyderco's stone washing tends to remove that, but I really wish they'd chamfer these edges a little bit more. That would make for just a nicer overall feeling in the hand. Um, wire clip is good. But the best thing this knife has going for it is ergonomics. This feels great in the hand. Absolutely great. I won't say it's as good as that Manix, which was really a marvel, but it's damn, damn close. Uh, it's got all the right umps in all the right places, and, you know, you really can't complain here. Um, also, the clip is pretty thin. So, again, pretty good. So, overall, this is a great little package. It's a solid little knife. Good lockup. No complaints. Good steel, good materials, good blade length, great ergos, good clip. And that's why I'm a little bit surprised. Um, in fact, the only negatives I can come up with on this knife, really, are that personally this blade shape leaves me a little cold. The leaf-shaped blade doesn't do a lot for me. And maybe that's just pure aesthetics, and maybe I'm just insane. Actually, we know that, but maybe I'm that kind of insane as well. Um... And the other thing is I don't care for the geometry between the spidey hole and the pivot. It means that you're doing a lot of outward motion before you flick up. And so although you still can flick the knife, and it'll probably be easier once it gets smoothed in a little more, um, which actually this should be pretty smoothed in given that it's used, but whatever. I just don't care for the geometry of these two things. I wish your spidey hole was mounted a little further out so you could flick more readily uh, with your thumb. Little, little nitpick though. So overall, though, this is a really solid little knife. Um, like I said, great ergos, great blade length, great steel, and all of my complaints are little tiny things. And so, practically speaking, is this a good knife? Yes, this is a good knife. That said, the weird thing about this, and what's really surprising me in doing this review, is that I'm not a huge fan of this knife. And let me tell you why. The big question that the Sage 2 has to ask now Maybe back in the day when this first came out, this was your top of the line. But now it's got some really, really stiff competition. So your Sage 2 is 180 bucks, which is a, a fair bit of money. And, you know, for a titanium integral lock that works pretty well, it's not out of line in this steel. Um, but think about it this way. If you really like a solid knife with excellent, excellent fit and finish... You can actually do better with your Spyderco Techno. I've got a separate review of that guy, and, uh, you know, I don't have it anymore, but it's a really, really nice knife, and fit and finish smoothness-wise, solidity-wise, it beats this very, very handily. Um, this is a nice knife, but it's not that nice. The Techno is a little tiny Cadillac, and the fit and finish is just second to none. It's really good, and it's as good as your Sleesh Bowie, which is a much more expensive knife than your Techno. So, uh, and speaking of solid frame locks, if you'd like one that's bigger, this is your way to go. Spyderco Sleash Bowie. Like, a bunch of videos on this guy. So, if you want solid and you want well-built, you go for your Techno at 190 10 bucks more. And I think it's worth that 10 bucks if you can deal with the thick blade. On the other side, if you want a knife that's very nice, that has a leafy kind of blade, 
and it is easy to get to for an EDC, you want your Spyderco Mantra. And I reviewed the Mantra, but I also sold the Mantra because it wasn't really winning out over your Delica. But the Mantra is a roughly Delica-sized handle uh, with a slightly larger blade. Uh, and that's the one disadvantage the Mantra has, is the blade is a little bit bigger. But the Mantra is another titanium frame lock, but it's a flipper. And it's got some other niceties, like, for instance, it's got a uh, steel lock bar insert and an over-travel stop. And the fit and finish on your Mantra is every bit as good as the fit and finish on your Sage 2. Maybe the Sage 2 is a little more solid, the Mantra lock bar was a little thin for my taste, but either way, it's a very, very nice knife, and... If somebody gave me a choice, your Sage 2 or your Mantra, and I'm talking about the Mantra 1, by the way. The Mantra 2 is a very different beast with a narrow blade. But anyways, if you give me a choice of the Sage 2 or the Mantra, I'm going with the Mantra. And it helps, too, that the Mantra is 10 bucks cheaper than this. And if you're looking for just a good EDC kind of blade, and I keep saying this, and I'm sorry, but the Spyderco Delica is 70 bucks, so about 100, or I'm sorry, 60 or 70 bucks. So it's about 120 bucks cheaper than your Sage 2. And the Sage 2, like I said, is very nice, but I don't know that it's 120 bucks nicer than the Delica, given that you're not getting any major new features aside from your more solid construction. So for me, the Sage 2 is definitely not a keeper, and that's weird, because I thought I was gonna fall hard for this knife, because on paper, it's everything I love. It's a small, unobtrusive titanium frame lock with a short blade that's not too scary looking. But practically speaking, it's just kind of outclassed. Uh, the Techno is more solid and well-built. Your Mantra is a slightly better knife in terms of deployment mechanism and size to handle. Um, really, all that this has going for it is the ergonomics. And, you know, that may mean a lot. So for me, this kind of left me cold. And that surprised me. All that said, final, should I buy this, Nick? Give me the skinny. This is a really, really nice knife, and if you're in love with it, if you're looking at this and going, oh my god, that's beautiful, I need to have one, buy it, 100%. You're not getting ripped off for the price given the solidity. This is a really, really nice little knife. It's not a knife that I find really super compelling personally, especially, well, and if you're looking at this, also look at your Spyderco Techno, also look at your Mantra, and also consider your Delica if you're looking for something a little less expensive. But overall, it's a very solid knife, but with very solid competition. And that's why this knife left me a little colder than I expected. Sage 2 is a very nice knife. I don't say, I'm not going to say it's a gem, but it's a very nice knife, and it may be a really, really nice knife for you. I hope this has been helpful for you, and uh, have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.